Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be sharing with you something quick and easy to pack for lunch. We are going to make sambar rice in a pressure cooker. It's a one pot meal. And for the sides, chicken 90 and pomegranate raita. It has protein, carbohydrates and vegetables. And it's very healthy balanced meal. Now let's get started. Ingredients to make chicken 90 To make this recipe I have taken 500 grams of boneless chicken washed and packed dried To a bowl add 1 tablespoon of chilli powder 1 teaspoon of garam masala powder 1 teaspoon of chaat masala powder 1 teaspoon of salt Ginger garlic paste 1 tablespoon 1 tablespoon of lemon juice, you can also use vinegar, 1 and a half tablespoons of corn flour and 1 tablespoon of rice flour. This will give a nice crispy coat on the chicken. One egg, just whisk and add it. This is for the binding and the marinade will stay intact. One and a half tablespoons of yogurt. Combine all this well. Add the chicken and give it a good mix. Let the chicken coat well with this marinade. Cover and keep it for 15 minutes or you can keep this in the fridge overnight. It will be easy for you to cook in the morning. Ingredients to make sambar rice. This is 1 cup of rice. You can use any rice. Half a cup of yellow split peas. That is tuar dal. Quarter cup of split green gram. That is mung dal. Wash and add it to the pressure cooker. You can increase or decrease the ingredients according to your preference. Here I've got some eggplants, drumstick, pumpkin, green mangoes, cluster beans, carrot, shallots and garlic. Since we are going to cook them in the pressure cooker, cut them into big chunks. It's good to have rainbow color veggies to your meal. One big tomato finely chopped. 1 tablespoon of chilli powder, 1 and a half tablespoons of coriander powder and quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 tablespoon of salt, 1 and 3 fourth cups of rice and dal plus 400 grams of vegetables. For that I am adding 6 cups of water. Cover and pressure cook it for 3 to 4 whistles and keep the flame on medium. Let's check the rice. It's perfectly done, soft and saucy. This will not become hard. It will stay like this throughout the day. We have added green mangoes. Check and add tamarind water if needed. I am adding quarter cup of tamarind water. Soak lemon sized tamarind in warm water. Extract the pulp and use it. In this stage, check for some salt. Mix everything well and let it simmer for 2 minutes. For the seasoning, add 2 tablespoons of ghee. Add half a teaspoon of mustard seeds. Wait for it to crackle. Put a teaspoon of fenugreek seeds and half a teaspoon of cumin seeds. 
adding some curry leaves, cashew nuts and red chillies. This is quarter teaspoon of asafoetida powder. Do not skip this, this will help you in digestion. Add the seasoning and give a nice mix. One more tip, prep the veggies the previous night and keep them in the refrigerator. That will be very useful. You can just take and add them to your dish. Finally, add some freshly chopped coriander leaves. Quick and easy, yet very delicious. One pot meal. You can make this in under 20 minutes and it will save your time a lot. Heat up some oil to fry the chicken. Keep the flame on medium and add the marinated chicken. Do not overcrowd the pan, that will drop down the temperature and it will take long time to cook. Now let's turn the chicken to the other side and cook. Since it's boneless chicken, it will take 5 to 6 minutes to get it done. This is done, now let's take it out from the oil. When you fry the last batch, add some curry leaves. This will add up extra appetizing aroma. You can also use this to make sandwiches and rolls. Ingredients to make pomegranate raita. To a bowl, add a cup of thick yogurt. 3 tablespoons of pomegranate seeds and 2 tablespoons of freshly chopped coriander leaves. Combine everything well. Add a pinch of chili and chaat masala powder. Add salt while serving. Let's pack the lunch box. Try this simple lunch combo and share your feedback and your suggestions about these recipes in the comment section below and also share this video with your family and friends. And I hope you like this video. If you do, consider subscribing, like, share and comment. For more such videos, click on the left to check out my previous video and on the right my other recipes. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, happy cooking.